yours. Welcome to the world famous Jiggy Jaguar Show, coast to coast to border to border. It is a fabulous, fabulous Monday, the 16th. We are live, 2 Central, 3 Eastern, 12 Pacific, 24-7 at JiggyJaguar.com on the TuneIn apps, Radio Loyalty, and our podcast is available over there at JiggyJaguar.com. There's a lot of news to cover and uh, a lot of different things going on today. Um, we've got a fabulous, fabulous, fabulous guest with us today. Dr. Robert Melillo joins us as he joins us from time to time. There has been some uh, some new studies come out and uh, some different things going on in the news. Dr. Melillo, welcome to the program. Uh, thanks for being on with us today. Uh, thank you. Now, uh, there's been a lot of different things go on uh, last week. Um, there, there was an, an, an odd connection. There was an Oregon, uh, Oregon March, the 74th school shooting since Newtown. Um, a right. lot of people say that this is related to the rise of autism and ADHD. And, uh, we've got you on today to discuss this. Um, first of all, when you, when you heard about this, what did you think? Well, I wasn't surprised. Um, I've actually been predicting that we're going to see this much more frequently, um, I was actually a little shocked when I, I didn't realize it was 74 shootings in less than two years. That's, that's incredible. Um, and, you know, it's a very, very complicated issue because, you know, when we say that it's related to the rise of autism or ADHD, it means that, you know, we're not looking and saying that kids with ADHD and autism, these types of disorders are going to go out and routinely kill people. That's not what we're saying. What we're saying is that the same factors are causing this dramatic increase in childhood behavioral issues um, is the same thing driving the, uh, the rise in these killings. They're related to one another in the fact that the things that are causing this epidemic of childhood disorder is underlying it. And I said it's important because we're, we're really going to ignore this problem in the United States. I mean, we're facing the largest childhood epidemic we've ever seen. And people deny that it's happening, and some people even come out with books and say ADHD doesn't exist. You know, we're, all, we're burying our head in the sand. We've had this problem going on for 20, 30 years. This is also a, a result of that, and if we don't do something to really deal with these issues when they're kids, this is just going to become more and more routine, I can guarantee you. It is a fantastic, fantastic guest with us today. Dr. Robert Melillo joins us here on the program, and uh, Oregon marks the 74th school shooting since Newtown. Um, is this related to the rise of autism and ADHD in America is the topic for our first segment on the Big Broadcast. Now, um, the the suspect and one student in an Oregon school shooting, um, a lot of people want to immediately blame this on uh, all sorts of different things, but a lot of times it gets blamed on ADHD and autism um, what, 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 what do you think is going on here with this? Well, it's a really good idea. I mean, this is my area of research. And um, what we see is that, you know, children's brains are not developing in the same way that they did four generations before. A lot of it has to do with the rise of technology. A lot of it has to do with the fact that they're not as physically active. A lot of it has to do with the overall health and stress levels of people that are getting pregnant. Um, and, you know, these are all the things that I've really documented well in my book. But the bottom line is what we look at in the brain of children with autism and ADHD is that they have a, a underdeveloped right hemisphere, which is really what gives you a sense of empathy and conscience and also helps you have good social relationships with other people. And it's also the same problem we see in schizophrenia and psychosis. So, you know, it, it's not that ADHD kids or autistic kids are going to go out and create these issues, but ADHD, autism, OCD, those kids are more susceptible to have psychotic breaks, especially if they're sitting in a basement or a dark room by themselves and playing video games hour after hour after hour, especially if they're violent video games. They can, this can skew their reality. And, you know, there's one game out there, a violent game, where you literally go yeah. into the mall and shoot people, 
right? Yes. So what can happen is <laughs> Unfortunately, that yes, around, that does exist. Yes, and so, you know, if you're playing these games and you have a right brain deficiency, and as you play the games, it makes your right brain even more deficient and your left brain even more inactive. It creates these imbalances and exacerbates the imbalances you can slip into a, a psychotic or schizophrenic state where you don't realize what's reality and what's not, and then to walk in a mall and shoot somebody realistically is not that different from doing it on, on you know, on, on the game. And that's what I believe is happening. It is a uh, fantastic, fantastic guest with us today. Rock, Dr. Robert Lillo joins us. And, uh, Doctor, I guess kind of as we wrap up here, because I know that your time is very precious, um, what what can we learn from this and prepare for the next uh, for the next uh, situation if this were to arise? What again? we what we need to learn for this is that we can't deal with it after the fact. It's not about gun control. Not that I'm for or against gun control, but we've always had guns around, and there hasn't been all of a sudden an explosion in guns being available over the past two years. But we have seen an explosion in kids walking into schools and other kids. So. There's something else going on, and the problem is right, right in front of our eyes, and the mainstream media and, uh, and people are not paying attention to them. We need to deal with these problems when they're young. We need to do things. This is what we do at Rain Balance Centers. This is what I've written in my books, and given this technology in the hand of parents, this is what I do research on. We need to pay more attention in this country to these problems not deal with it after the fact, or this is just going to get worse. It's Dr. Robert Millo. We're going to take a time out. When we come back, we've got more here on the world-famous Chicky Jaguar Show. Thank you, Doctor. Thanks for being with us today.